What's up everybody, my name is Nate. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the weekly rotation series where I talk about what I wore last week and uh, just some little nuances. So this week was my vacation time and it was kind of a working vacation because I wanted to get caught up on Paragon Fragrance. I was trying to get caught up on Paragon, getting caught up on a lot of the videos that I make for Paragon Fragrance, and but I had to recreate a graphic and uh, I, I won't get into any of it. A bit frustrated because it just put my whole schedule back behind a little bit. And uh, anyway, it was resolved. It's every, everything's good. Um, but new graphic, what do you think? I added little, um, you know, note breakdown cards. I moved the, uh, you know, the projection and longevity up on like a vertical kind of thing going on. And then the longevity thing, there's, a, it's like a speedometer kind of thing. So you've got different things going on. What do you think? What are your thoughts? I would love to know. All right, so jumping into the weekly rotation. Um, so I'm gonna, so I I had some fragrances that I was wearing the day, those days, you know, the days. Uh, but I also sprayed on a bunch of different ones like throughout the week. Um, the main, the one of them one was Kenzo Ohm, the original one. And, uh, you know, my first impressions of this one, the first time I sprayed this one on and did a first impression on my YouTube, um, one of my YouTube videos of this, I wasn't too thrilled with it. I that it was kind of synthetic and it had this like floral zone kind of thing going on. But you know, after like actually wearing it around a bit more, I was like, you know what? This is actually not too bad. It was a day on Wednesday or Thursday. I don't know what, what day it was, but Wednesday or Thursday, I just, I sprayed it on to go to the grocery store. I was walking around and I was getting whiffs of it and I was like you know this is actually not too bad I actually really like the way this smells girlfriend even complimented me on it and then I was wearing um Dior Homme Cologne uh just randomly here and there uh great stuff fresh lemonade this is a perfect vacation fragrance oh yeah and then I wear fragrances to bed sound off in the comments his parfums cafe beignet and it's a very beautiful coffee fragrance I know you should probably not wear coffee to bed you know you should not uh, take your uh, co-workers to bed or coffee to bed. You know, that's just a universal rule. But I like to break things. I like to break everything. So, but then on Monday, we'll start back on Monday. I wore the Zaharoff. Uh, this is Coco Loco and uh, really good stuff. I love this stuff. I love George. He is a beautiful man. Beautiful, beautiful man. Thank you, George. We, we, me and George had a conversation this week and uh, he was very, uh, he was very helpful in a situation that I was going through. I said, me I said the word messy and he said, don't call it messy, call it controlled chaos. And I like that. So if, if you're in a messy situation in your life, it's not messy, it's controlled chaos. Beautiful words from George Zaharoff. And then beautiful words from Ralph Lauren, uh, you smell fantastic. He didn't actually say that, but that's what I assumed that he would say. This is what I wore on Tuesday, Polo Red Parfum. I like this stuff a lot, really good stuff. Um, it's a very red berry kind of sweet fragrance. It has this like absinthe note in there. Kind of, it's kind of like a, it's hard to describe. It really is. It's almost like an alcoholic beverage, like a sweet, bright kind of smell. Like uh, if you, if you, poured a Sprite, red berries into a Sprite, you kind of get this. Actually, yeah, it's a red fruit Sprite. There you go. I wasn't doing much on Wednesday. Uh, I wasn't doing much this whole week, actually, but I wore Burberry Hero. Uh, I like this stuff. I like the scent profile. I shouldn't say I like this stuff at all because this stuff does not last at all. Not one bit. This stuff lasts like two to three hours maximum. And, uh, but the scent character is nice. It's beautiful. I wish that it was just cranked up really, really truly. It's like kind of like a mix between like Dior Homme 2020, got a little bit more like pine kind of things going on, but it's a very cedar dominant fragrance. It's a it's mainly cedar, very cedar heavy, but it's fantastic. I think it's got some juniper berry in there. I'm pretty sure most definitely, uh, but a lot of cedar. I think there's like three different cedar woods in here. There's like Atlas, Virginia, and Brazilian, I think it is. Um, but it's fantastic. It really, really, really is good stuff, but do not pick it up because it doesn't last. If if you want a decent cologne, don't pick it up because it doesn't, doesn't do anything. All right, and Thursday, uh, I wore this. Uh, like I said, I wasn't really doing much this week. Uh, I was just remaking graphics 
and uh, filming videos for Paragon Fragrance and also going out and getting some pumpkin spice and you should do the same because it's in season and it's it's fabulous it's so good and the little pumpkin muffins too really good stuff too gotta get on it uh, and then on friday i wore chrome aqua uh and then i'm not sure like this is good this is good i, I think it's fa fantastic it is a little it smells a little cheap it, it smells a little aquatic fresh but it's just kind of synthetic kind of mumbo jumbo it's an excellent fragrance to just spray on you smell fantastic and then you go really good stuff you just you just kind of smell fantastic um, for a little while and then you carry on your day it doesn't really last all that long that's why i say that uh it's it's not a a huge performer but it performs okay i would say and then on Saturday, I reworked a fragrance that I'm working on. Uh, I, I wanted to do a few different formulations, a few different kind of take, takes. I um, was cranking up the, not cranking up, but I was balancing out the spiciness with the freshness. And it's coming together quite nicely. I uh, have it on my hand here. It's nice. It is really nice. But uh, there, there's just a few things that I need to kind of adjust. I did get like a haul in and um, some of the main ingredients that like exist lower lower in fragrances uh, a lot of the majority of the fragrances like there's a mint character or a mint molecule that is in pretty much almost every fresh fragrance on the planet and then there's um there's also a spicy one too um and i got the dihydro i forget what it exactly is um, but it's a spicy nuance and it it's it's designed to like lay in the in the the deep deep base to just provide a nice warm sweet spicy anyway i digress here uh saturday i was doing that so i didn't want anything to really kind of uh offset it so i was just wearing something clean fresh this is vetiver delight and it just smells like a nice vetivery soapy clean kind of smell really kind of fantastic i like this stuff a lot it's very fresh aromatic i got two compliments from this um not on that day but uh, in general total grand total of two compliments uh and each person said that i smelled like soap so it, it's a it's like a soapy clean kind of vetiver and that should if you if you're off put by vetiver you should try this one because it's not so dirty i guess and then today i was doing some research on a molecule um for perfumery and i came across uh aqua essential blue while i was doing some internet scrolling internet surfing and um somebody was talking about it and i was like you know i haven't worn that in a while so i decided to pull it out today and i'm rocking it today i have it on my hand here and i am this has aged very very well i i think that this stuff is super good super kind of underrated when i first bought it i thought it was a little too like spicy lavender spicy lavender heavy but after like actually doing some perfumery and understanding some of the different molecules and uh, you know different things here and there i have to say it's really really good it's smooth creamy but it's also got a beautiful lavender note in here and the and the lavender is a like a it's like a spiky lavender so it's a very nice lavender it does come across like laundry fabric softener so um it's nothing like totally unique in that regard but i like it i really do like it i like it a lot and in the air it smells fantastic too um in the air it really carries through and smells fantastic i do kind of get the similarities to blue de chanel like it says online but for the most part it does its kind of own thing it's very fresh it, aromatic and lively and that like lavender heavy and linenol heavy and acetates um the hydromersinol that kind of thing just kind of really it's it's very nice thanks for watching the video guys we appreciate you watching if you have any of your weekly rotation let me know down in the comments down below i would love to hear what you guys are wearing what you guys are rocking if you found anything that's awesome that i should try let me know i'll consult with my bank they're calling about my credit card loan like hey dude i'm smelling great you should just relax. They're not understanding. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.